Hey folks, uh, this lesson is uh, on exponents, and don't forget, all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let's go to that site real quick. Okay, here's my YouTube channel right there, so I upload it to this first, and then I put it over on this one right here. So here's MrMathBlog.com. So this is a sixth grade math, so if you pick that uh, one right there, make there's two sixth grades. This is for the rest of the nation, and California is weird. So if you pick that one right there, and then you scroll down, I'll probably put this in, what color am I going to put this in? Probably a green, so 9-1 will be exponents right there, okay? All right, so you'll see that, uh, and you'll see others by the time you get to this right there. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So here's our common core strand for our teachers. So write and evaluate numerical expressions involving whole number exponents. Okay, when you get in high school, you guys, you're going to be dealing with fractional exponents. In fact, I'm teaching that in my integrated math class right now. So anyways, our common... Our essential question is, uh, how do we use exponents to represent numbers? Okay, so here's a, an example here. So bacteria reproduced uh, by dividing is a process that can be observed in a microscope. So some scientists observe the hour, hourly growth of bacteria, and they, re they record their observations in this table below. So here, uh, in, in zero hours, at the beginning time, there was one bacteria, and then after one hour, it looks like it doubled to two bacterias. After two hours, then it doubled again, two times two, and then two times two times two, and two times two times two times two, times two after this many hours. Notice this. There's here. There's um, uh, after one hour. There's one two. After two hours, there's two twos. After three hours, there's three twos being multiplied, and so on. So it just keeps doubling. Looks like so. After two hours, there's going to be two times two bacteria right there. Okay. So let's complete the table. And what patterns is, is there in the total bacteria column? Okay. So let's complete the table. So two times two is going to be. That's easy enough. That's four. Okay, so we know that 2 times 2 is 4, so if we just take this answer, because there's one more 2 right there, so 4 times 2 is going to get us 8 bacteria, and then this is 2 times 2 times 2, which is right here, so here's 8, and then 8 times 2 is, is 16 right there, okay, so uh, what pattern is there? Well, every uh, each number is 2 times the previous number, can you see that? 4 times 2 is 8, well, let's go here, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, so it keeps doubling right there, okay, so let's answer some questions here. So at 2 hours, the total uh, is equal to the product of 2 twos. Okay, so at, at two hours right here, the product was two twos. Product means multiply, so two times two. At three hours, how many twos do we see? It's the product of how many twos? There's three twos right there. At four hours, how many twos do we see? It's the product of four twos right there, okay? So um, how is the time in hours uh, related to the number of times two is used as a factor? And show how to find the number of bacteria there are at 10 hours. Okay, let's answer the first question. So the number of hours is the number of times uh, the factor of two is repeated. So if there's 10 hours, then there's gonna be 10 twos right there. So look, there's 10 twos right there. Let's see if we can do this. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. I'm just gonna keep doubling. Double eight is 16. Double 16 is 32. Double 64. Double 64 is 128. Double 128, that's gonna be uh, 256. Double 256 is 512, and then double that is 1,024. So there's 1,024 bacteria after 10 hours right there. Wow. Okay, so a number that is formed by repeating multiplication by the same factor is called a power, and we can use what's called an exponent and a base to write the power. Okay, so for example, this 7 with a little 3 right there just means this, the product of this 7 three times right there. So seven with a little three right there says seven times seven times seven, and that's a big number, okay? So the base is the is the big number, the seven, okay? It's the number that's being multiplied, and the, and the exponent tells us how many times that number appears in the expression right there, okay? So here, here we go. For example, this six to the second power is read as six squared. That's the most uh, popular one right there. When you have a two, then you say squared, or six to the the power of 2 or 6 raised to the 2 power or the second power. Um, I like to say 6 to the second power or 6 squared. This is the most popular right there. All right, and then this one up here, the 
the 7 right there, the 7 to the 3rd. Well, when it's to the 3rd power, you can call it a cubed power. So it's 7 cubed, or 7 to the power of 3, or 7 to the 3rd power, 7 raised to the 3rd power. And then uh, anything else, uh, you just got to say 9 to that power. So 9 to the 4th power, 9 raised to the 4th power. I like to say 9 to the 4th power. Okay, so if you see a 2, then uh, the, it, it's, it's most common to say squared. If you see a 3, a power of 3, it's most common to say cubed. Otherwise, you say it's that number to the power right there, okay? All right, so let's use an exponent to write each expression right here. Okay, so let's find the base first, okay? The base is the number that's being multiplied. So the base is this 3 right here. And then the exponent is how many 3's there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of them. So uh, there's 5 factors of 3, so that's going to equal 3 to the 5th power. Okay, easy enough, huh? Okay, and that's all you have to do. It just says uh, use an exponent to write that expression. Okay, how about this? Uh, four fifths times four fifths times four fifths times four fifths. Okay, here the base is. Um, whoops, there should be an R right there. The number being multiplied. The base is four fifths right there. Okay, and the exponent is how many times four fifths is being multiplied. So there's four factors of four fifths. So it's the whole fraction, four-fifths to the fourth power right there. Make sure you do the parentheses right there. I think I talked about that. Yeah, I did right here. So four-fifths with the parentheses is not the same as four-fifths. I'm sorry, four-fifths with parentheses to the fourth is not the same as four to the fourth over five. Because four to the fourth over five means four times four times four times four, but the five doesn't have a four power with it right there. Okay, and if we have this fraction, the whole fraction being to the fourth power, then that means it's the fraction times itself four times. Okay, if it's written like this, this just says the top number is to the fourth. And by the way, you guys, so four uh, fifths, when it's written like this without parentheses, is four times four is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. 64 times 4 is 256, but 5 doesn't have a fourth power, so it just stays as 5. Whereas the whole fraction is 4 fifths times 4 fifths times 4 fifths times 4 fifths, and you multiply all the 4s on top, you get that number, and you multiply all the 5s on bottom, and you get 625. Again, I like to do this. 5 times 5 is 25. Here's another 25, and then 25 times 25 is 625. All right, so in the Explore activity, how can we use an exponent to show the total bacteria at 10 hours? Okay, so we had all those 10 twos right there. Okay, so we can just write it as 2 to the 10th. 10 is the exponent, and 2 is that base right there. Okay, so let's use exponents to write each expression. Okay, all right, so here we have uh, 4 to the thirds because 4 is being multiplied 3 times, so 4 to the third. All right, when there's um, uh, no number there or it's not being repeated, there's only 1 6, so that is represented as 6 to the first. Okay, and it said use exponents, so 6 is the same as 6 to the first. There's my exponent right there. Okay, 1 8, don't forget the parentheses parentheses, you guys, 1 8 squared, and then looks like 5, there's 6 of them, so 5 to the 6th power right there, okay? All right, so uh, to find the value of a power, remember that the exponent indicates how many times um, uh, that we use the base as a factor, so we just multiply that number however many times the exponent tells us to, and then this right here tells us that uh, the value of any number raised to the zero power is always one. Any number. So, for example, seven to the zero equals one. Any number, two thirds to the zero equals one. I can I, uh, in my algebra two class I teach algebra, uh, high school. They always did you know a big parenthesis right here, and then inside the parentheses they did a whole bunch of math operations. And those those little tricksters they put another parenthesis and put a little zero power right there equals one. So anything to the zero power equals one and you'll find out when you get in high school why it equals one so anyways so find the value of each power right here okay so on all of these they want us to identify the base and the exponent okay so on on the first one uh, the base is 10 and the exponent is 4 so on the other ones the base is um, uh, 0.4 the exponent is 3 here the base is the fraction 3 fifths and the exponent is 0 okay so 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 okay now when we're multiplying by tens it's just going to be a 1 with 1 2 3 4 zero. so that's uh, 10,000 right 
right there, okay? All right, so 0.4 times 0.4 times 0.4, okay. Now, let's just forget about the decimals for a second. We'll deal with those in just a second. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So it's going to be 64, except there's one decimal, two decimals, three decimals. So it's going to be 64 with the decimal to the left three places right there. So take it to the left three places. So it's 0 0.0. 064 and this ends in the thousandth spot so tenths hundreds thousandths so this says 64 thousandths okay so 0 0.064 all right now this one here anything to the zero power equals one right there okay so so that equals one right there okay all right so find the value of each um, uh, each power here so two-thirds times two-thirds okay so the base is two-thirds and the exponent is two so when you're multiplying fractions you just multiply top times top and over bottom times bottom okay two times two is four three times three is nine four ninths okay easy huh all right so is the value of two to the third the same as the value of three squared and explain. Well, no, it's not, you guys, because 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, okay? And 8 doesn't equal 9, so they're not the same, okay? Real common error, even my algebra kids do this, they think 2 to the 3rd is 6 because they multiply 2 times 3. So be careful. 2 to the 3rd means 2 times 2 times 2, okay? And then 3 squared is 3 times 3, not 3 times 2. All right, so the exponent tells you how many times you multiply that base right there. All right, what else do we have? All right, so find the value of each power. Okay, 3 to the 4th. All right, so that means uh, 3 is being multiplied 4 times. So I like doing this, you guys. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Then multiply 9 times 9 is 81. You'll get the same if you do 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is, uh, is 81 also. So either way. All right, what's 1 times 1? Well, that's 1, okay? Times 1 is 1, times 1 is 1, times 1, times 1, times 1. You can multiply 1 as many times as you want. So 1 to any power just always equals 1 right there. All right, 2 fifths to the... Uh, to the third power. So we just multiplied 2 times 2 times 2 over 5 times 5 times 5. We get 8 25ths. All right, 12 squared, 12 times 12 is 144. All right, you guys, hope that makes sense and take care.